Northwest. I'm here with Miss Skinoto. Where the hell did you get the name? Oh, the, the name came before I joined the band. It was, uh, the band's been around since about 1998. And uh, the trumpet player, he's a guy that's kept it going through the years with different lineups. But the original, the founder of the band, his name was Scott or Mike or something, Anato. And he had a huge Scott collection, so they called him Skinoto, like as a nickname. So this is the second from the last day of the tour. Yeah. You guys have been out with the Monk Criminals. How's the tour been? The tour's been, uh, tour's been all right. There, there've been, most of the shows have been great. There've been a couple that were just okay, and there've been like three that were pretty shitty. But uh, you know, it's, with a band on our level, it's all about the promoter. You know, we don't have a huge draw west. We haven't been out west in about three years. But the last time we were here, we came with the Toasters. And before that, we came with uh, Less Than Jay. up the mastering now yeah yeah it's coming out in the fall we're uh we're sort of shopping it around to a couple of labels and if hopefully that'll work out but if it doesn't we'll just release it ourselves like we've been doing uh, we've been a diy band for 15 years now it'll go good either way so i think you, it's a good record so do you guys still get a lot of draw for scott today or yeah. does it matter what side of the state you're on or i i'm I'm amazed at how much draw Ska in general gets today. It sort of has a, you know, a lot of the kids like me, who like, I'm 35, but like I grew up and like Less Than Jake and all those bands are really big and I sort of grew up, you know, I, I'm more of a punk fan, but I listen to them because they're sort of kind of in the punk scene. And uh, they're sort of have like 20 years later, they're kind of having a resurgence. All these punk bands are going out again. All these Ska bands are going out and they're doing really well. We sort of come off awkwardly to them because we're not like as sort of poppy punk ska. We have different shit going on. And well, you guys bring a lot of reggae to your ska, I've noticed. Yeah, yeah, and, and honestly, that set was like, that was our, we were just on the ska revival tour uh, to get out here. We hopped on about five dates of that. And um, that was our like ska revival set. We have a lot more reggae and weirder shit on the records that we, we don't bring out live in front of ska crowds because they're kind of like, what are you guys doing, man? So when are you guys looking to, uh, like, uh, release the new album? We're hoping for the fall. We're hoping for, like, October, November. Um, right now, with the people we're talking to, it's sort of up in the air. But that's our plan. Our plan is to fall unless something changes. And the new record is called Toys. Toys? Yeah. Where do you get your influences for your guys' writing? Oh, man. We all, uh, all six of us come from very different schools of writing. Uh, you know, our guitar player is a jazz guy. Trombone player is a jazz guy. Uh, trumpet player, he's like the hardcore ska kid. I, like I was talking to you over there, like I love Mike Patton and I love like Filter and a lot of sort of half metal, half kind of pop rock metal bands. And that's sort of where I get my vocal influence. And Bradley Knowles too when I joined this band. Um, the guy from Sublime. Uh, our drummer's a big metal head, like he's all into metal and like really technical punk and math metal and stuff. And our bass player loves reggae. So we all kind of come together with that mishmash of bullshit and we try and write something that kind of sounds like all of that. Uh, I don't know. So what other tours do you guys have coming up to finish out 2015? And Right now, we're. this was our, we've been on tour most of the summer uh, with a couple weeks off here and there. And uh, this is our last one that we have booked for now. We're trying to book again in like November, December. Our drummer's getting married in, in October. Uh, he's getting married on Halloween. So we took that month off. It's his a wife, good day to do his it. His wife will not allow him to tour for that month leading up to the wedding, which is understandable. Um, so after that, we're going to try and get back out there and hopefully be pushing the new record. Uh, but we don't know what exactly yet. And then we're going to we're going to push it really fucking hard the next year. So what's your guys' plans for 2016? A lot of bands have already started, you know, with it being August. Yeah. And they're already starting to look at next year. Yeah, we're we're kind of shopping around with different bands to try and hop on like a good package, uh, get on with maybe a more popular band and try and ride that wave uh, with a new record. That's our plan, and we're going to see how that goes. If we can't find anyone, we'll go out on our own like we've been doing. Uh, we, you know, we're, we're kind of road dogs. We go out pretty much every year and just 
front of whoever will come to the shows. So, with you guys touring all the summer and the way that the weather's been throughout the United States, you guys had any interesting times at weather-wise? Uh, Phoenix, Arizona, about a week ago, was fucking hot. It was like 107, but it's uh, I think it's like 115 now. So it's even it's crazy, man. Uh, it's really hot. You know, we we come from a place. I think Rochester, New York, is which is where we're from, is like the third or fourth snowiest city in the country. So we have kind of hot summers, like 80s, 90s, and then. But in, in the winter, it's just it's the worst place to be on the planet. And the winter's like 10 months. So being out uh, being out in the in the fucking desert heat is it, it's a challenge. But you know, it's also kind of nice to get away from all that bullshit. You know, every place has their own weather bullshit. We do all right. So on this album, what do you guys really cover style-wise? Is this going to be different than the others? Or? This album is, you know, we, we, call, we decided to call it Toys, and uh, our album art, um, we, we took a bunch of photographs of like old retro, kind of like, you know, 70s robot toys and a bunch of weird shit, basically because this album's a bit more playful than the last one. Uh, the last one was kind of dark and brooding, and uh, this one covers a lot of dark topics lyrically, but we're sort of doing it with a bit, you know, with a smile on our faces, and we kind of went into it with a, with a mindset to, to really tighten up our compositions and be a little bit poppier and kind of just really, really hone in on the, the, the core of what the song is and trying to, you know, try and accompany that as best we could instead of six guys playing Sorry six to cut you off. Uh, that's all good. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, man. I've been there. Don't that make me feel better. Yeah. I've, I've been there. <laughs> I was having, I was having like, anxiety flashbacks. Yeah, man. Yeah. You guys killed it. Thank you, brother. Thank yeah, you for sticking awesome. around. You guys, Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah. Why don't you introduce yourself and talk about, you know, you guys opened up today for these guys from Miss Cascanado. I believe you're faction. regional faction, right? So what's your name? Tyler. So uh, what's it like for you to get to open for B Nationals and A Nationals as a local band? Badass. What's your guys' kind of goals and what you guys plan on doing? Uh, we've been playing for a while, you know, we're trying to just, you know, keep it going and just have a good time and maybe, like, eventually get out there and tour the East Coast. You know, from the East Coast to the West Coast, from the West Coast to the East Coast, why not? So this is Dave with XMD. You definitely want to check out these two bands, Miss Scanato and uh, Factional. Uh, regional Faction, my bad. I fuck up. It's a fat guy. I'll eventually figure it out. <laughs> right? So make sure you definitely go check these guys out. And uh, thanks again for giving me your guys' time. Thank you, Dave. Wow.